All right, welcome back to another edition of Viking Circle. We've done 13 of these, and we finally got a Hall of Famer, Steve Hutchinson. <laughs> and Steve, I, I was talking off camera a little bit to some of the guys, and I was like, we're going to figure out who's going to drive. So I figured we get into a three-point stance. Oh, boy. No, nah, I'm joking. Well, well you, it's you, been you, a while since <laughs> I've been in a three-point stance. Cool. You would definitely beat me in a one-on-one. It's a little board cold here. out here. I it's think I, the, the knees would be a little creaky getting down <laughs> in the stance. But when is, we'll get in the cart. Yeah. But when is the last time you actually got into a stance like at home and like you know what? Just practice the uh, So I've got a son who's a freshman uh, in high school, and so um, I a couple years ago I coached uh, his middle school football team. I was, I was the O line coach, so I would have to get down and demonstrate. And uh, I, I noticed pretty quickly when I was trying to demonstrate coming off on a on a zone block or something that uh, I am not as fast <laughs> as, I, as I used to be. And uh, you know, uh, reality set in pretty, pretty hard there. So, uh, but that's probably about it. But against anybody that I actually had to try to defend myself against or block, yeah, it's been a while. I know you are a avid fisherman, right? Yeah. Are there any qualities that relate from a fisherman to a Hall of Fame guard? <sighs> yeah, patience. Okay. Um, you know, the name of game offensively, as offensive line speaking, is patience. You know, you, you, it's a controlled rage. That's the way we used to like to try to. <laughs> try to describe it and so you you know the play you know the snap count but you also know there's a, a big strong guy across from you who's, who's who's wanting to kind of you know kick your kick your butt a little bit so you've got to be patient with it and you've got to use your technique same with fishing you know it's uh depending uh, on on what type of fishing you're doing you know especially if you're if you're ice fishing that's it's all kinds of patience right i mean you're sitting out there trying to stay warm and yeah. uh and uh, you're just waiting for the fish to, to swim by your lure or your, or your minnow. And so, yeah, I would say patience is probably probably uh, the biggest uh, the biggest crossover there. I know you had to be really patient in practice also going against a guy in John Randall in yes. practice. Uh, what did he teach you about the game? And I always ask this question. Do you have any funny John Randall stories? Well, I got a million funny John Randall stories. <laughs> but, like, you know, my, for me, the amazing thing about John is his last three years in the league were my first three in Seattle. Wow. And so I had to go against him every day in practice. And, you know, when he was in year 12, 13, 14, I think it was, um, you know, he's just as intense, just as fast, just as quick and strong as I'm assuming he was when he was in year six, seven, you know, mm -hmm. in his prime. And so um, really have a lot of the success I've had in my career was due to John because I, you know, by the time I got to Sunday, you <laughs> know, there weren't too many guys that, that were putting up. <laughs> you know, the same type of complications that he would for me on a daily, day in, day out basis. And he was always trying to get himself up also, but he was trying to get everybody around and trying to get people off their game and get them focused more on what he was saying. What up, Leonard? Dolly! JJ Stokes! You cousin of JJ Walker! You know, and that's the thing I learned about it too. It's like, you know, this game, there's games within this game. And, you know, John taught you that too, because it, no matter what the guy's saying or what, what he did to you on the last play, you, you got to get back up and, 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 you know, do the next play. Was there anything he said to you that got you off your game in practice? I didn't try listening to it. No, he, <laughs> he, he, he tried. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't listen to it. You know, we, there was always, he always had his, uh, he always had his guys he would love to, uh, to kind of pick at, poke, prod. Mm -hmm. um, Regulators, mount up. We're coming. Bang, bang. Hey, I can't get no love. Fortunately for me, uh, I was I wasn't one of them, so I would I would just ignore him enough to uh, take his attention off me and go to the guys he, he, he knew he'd get a rise out of. Me. I'm gonna take you down memory lane here. Okay. I know as an offensive guard, you don't really get to watch the play because yeah. you're focused on the guy you're blocking. So right. all you're worried about is opening up a hole for a running back. For sure. If you had field passes to any of your Vikings games, what what game would it be? It was 06, I think, for me and. Um, we went, it was my first year here coming from Seattle. And um, I think, uh, you know, going back to that stadium, my, the way I left, my contract, mm. you know, to say, to say it PG rated, uh, the Seattle fans weren't very excited to see me come back. Yeah. And uh, we went there and, uh, you know, we, we, we beat them there at a time where Seattle didn't lose home games, mm. you know, and uh, it was an emotional game for me uh, because I was playing all my teammates that I literally just left months earlier. Mm -hmm. And uh, to go there uh, as a member of, of the new team and have all my new teammates and, and I've already found, uh, you know, formed good bonds with them and mm -hmm. to go back and, and win and win in the fashion that 
you know, we wanted it. And a long run from Chester Taylor to this to this day, I think it's still the franchise record, mm-hmm. was in that game. So I'd have to say that game. Well, fast forward to now. You're now in the Hall of Fame. What does that mean to you to to be forever immortalized? I mean, we saw the speech, but to yeah. now have some time to reflect on it after the ceremony. Yeah, I think, um, I don't know if it's completely set in yet. You know, mm-hmm. I, I know, you know, that was a, an emotional, busy, crazy uh, weekend in August. Yeah. Um, and so that, that came and passed, and there was a lot of anticipation and, and anxiousness about that, just because, you know, you have speeches and guest lists and yeah. coordinated parties and making sure that, you know, that's, that's it's how you want it to be. And and then you get through that, that all, and you get the jacket, and then you, you come to an event like this, and you get the ring, and that kind of kind of closes the book on everything, you yeah. know? And um, so it is, uh, it's, it's going to be a special night, Sunday night. Uh, Sunday night and the rest of the season, we all know every game starts with the offensive line. This yeah. Vikings offensive line, I feel like they're starting to build. Yeah. Have you, have you paid attention to them? Or yeah, yeah. I mean, you? Um, you know, it's, it's you know, you, you got guys like, you know, Garrett Bradbury, who's coming into his own, starting to get comfortable being that leader in that center role. I've, I remember him coming out of college when we drafted him here. And, um, you know, you got you got a great tackle on O'Neal. And, mm-hmm. you, you, you know, um, the rookie from Virginia Tech there. So, I mean, he'll come along and played well in his, his kind of um, – debut last week and so um yeah i mean it's it's great and then of course you know i'm, I'm accustomed to always having good quality awesome backs in the back yeah, behind me and when you have a guy helps. like 33 back there you know it's it makes everybody it makes everybody excited it makes everybody play better and it ups the ups the game for the offense well i'm looking forward to it thank you again yeah, being the sure. first ever hall of famer to join this yeah, this, is, this is this is great i know you're going to look forward to uh, everything that that comes in the future with this minnesota vikings team but more importantly in your life so thank Perfect. you again I appreciate it thank yes, you. sir thanks for having me. steve hutchinson former Vikings left guard.